Hello guys, my name is Director Dante and uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a director and I'm also a colorist. Uh, so today here we are on DaVinci Resolve. This is the full interface of DaVinci Resolve and uh, and uh, in DaVinci Resolve what I would want you to, to show you is uh, I want to show you how to create this kind of a look. Uh, this is a teal orange look. Don't mind my language, I'm not very good at speaking English because uh, I'm an African and I'm, 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 I'm just trying to do something here. Uh, so this is a uh, this is a uh, Ari Alexa footage which which I downloaded from their website. I downloaded an Ari Alexa footage from their website and I decided that why why should I not do something with it? So the original footage actually looked like this. This is the original footage. Uh, the original Ari Alexa footage looked like this. It is flat, washed out, and uh, kind of like very 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 raw uh, direct from the camera it was shot on ProRes, ProRes 422 from the Ali, Ari Alexa and uh, this is the look that I'm going to show you how to do it so let's go to business uh, first of all I have uh, I have four nodes I have six nodes here the first, the first node was used to do the primary color correction, which I also included the uh, I also included uh, the noise reduction and everything. So let me let me take you through. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to, to I'm going to copy this clip, and uh, I'm going to copy this clip here. Uh, put another clip of the same here so that we can go through this look together and uh, This is uh, This is the raw image and these are the These are the <coughs> Stills that I created for this particular look so first of all Let me just lock this one up so that we can have We can we can be able to see this one up. So this is the image we have and I would like us to create the first node and do the first primary color correction whereby we are going to use our scopes we are going to use our scopes and in this case we are going to use the parade scopes so this is not a beginner tutorial if you don't know how to use the scopes I'm going to make a tutorial for using the scopes so we're going to just do, do a primary color correction. So this is the shadow area for the scopes. You normally want your your shadow to be aligned at the bottom part of your of your scope. So normally, let me just teach you how to read scopes. These are represented by IRIs. IRIs. Uh, that is the value which is used to represent. Uh, the shadows and the highlights in the in the in, in in the scopes. So you just do a primary color correction by crushing the shadows a bit and uh, just lifting lif lifting the gains a bit. And also you can uh, do something on the on the mittens just a bit to raise it. And also come here to the noise reduction. Uh, put the temporal noise reduction. Give it at least two frames. Uh, because it's daylight, we don't want to go like overboard with our with our with our with our noise reduction. Because when you look at this image, you can see that there are some bit of some noise here. We have the chroma noise here, and also we are, we are going to have like uh, motion motion uh, motion mo temporal noise which is more like a motion noise so we're going to we're going to do some noise reduction also in this and i want you to i want you to see the before and after the the noise reduction oh we're going to put it at around beta there and then uh, we can just do we can take the temporal threshold at around eight and then we can blend it at around seven there 
so also we can uh, we can uh, we can have the sp special noise reduction uh, we can just do the luma and the chroma just a bit and uh, yeah for me I, ca I can see that this image is a, a bit better so this is the before and this is the after so from the for the primary I think the image is now getting to build up uh, from that particular end so uh, this node I'm going to name it uh, this node I'm going to name it uh, primary color correction I'm going to name it primary well, I'm supposed to change label here okay let me let me create another node first uh, alt s to create another these are a serial node uh, or you can just come here and uh, just say add a serial node here so it's alt s and here i would like to do uh, i would like to do in here i would like to do the in here i'd like to do what we call adding the saturation and there are some few ways you can do to add saturation so you can come down here and then add saturation like this just by pulling the saturation bar uh, towards your right hand side or uh, the best way which I, I like doing my saturation is uh, I like going to this bar here over here the RGB mixer and then separately raise the red channel and then I came and, and then I come and raise the blue channel separately and also raise the the blue channel actually this is green and this is blue and uh, i raise it separately so this is this is our before and after normally i like going overboard with the saturation so when you look at uh, this you see that i actually went overboard with my saturation so after that i'll come and dial it down just a bit to uh, right about there you can go uh, overboard with your saturation and then you can dial it out down just a bit so this is what we have this is before and this is after uh, to me I feel as if it looks very very nice compared to the to the other one so I'll, I'll, I'll do alt s now we now we have corrected our image we have corrected the we have corrected the exposure we have corrected the we have uh, added saturation now we come to now how did we create the look and this is how i created the look i, I added a serial node and then i came to my my, my, my blue to my 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 color wheel palette color wheel panel and uh, i just did uh, i just added some blue on the shadows just uh, near the cyan where where the blue meets the cyan and then on the gamma i also added some blue same to the highlights i also added some blue i added some blue on it and then on the offset wheel here which controls the entire image i actually i actually uh, dialed down the offset and now we we are halfway done with our look but there's not something lacking and this is uh, the skin tones we need to work on the skin tone just a bit and uh, this is what I did I did alt and L and I created a layer node and after creating a layer node I just selected the skin tones with this so after selecting the skin tones this is what I get so I need to like select this one so that I can see what I'm selecting. So I selected the skin tones like this. Selected the skin tones like this. And uh, so I selected my skin tones and uh, this is what I got. Okay, uh, let, me, let me try and explain to you something here. Once you once you select your skin tones, then it's going to be separated from from the 
from the background it's going to be select uh, separated from the background so this is what we have right now and uh, I, I i want our blacks to be black see i know we have when you look at his uh, his uh, spectacles here you can see that they are blacks but i would really really want to add a lot of contrast in this so i will uh, i will create alt z alt s to create another node alt s to create another node not there i'll just click here so that i can have alt s alt s to create another node so after creating another node i'll just come to my parade scopes here and then uh, i'll come to my log wheels and then just try and crush the blacks a bit so this is what we have this is the before and this is the after so this is the before it's very easy it's very simple so if you like my tutorial uh put a subscribe button click on the subscribe button there so that you can also be able to make you more and more tutorials uh, don't mind my language i'm still learning how to speak good english and i'm still learning how to do better tutorials so you can uh, i've also left a link down below where you can download such kind of a footage for you to be able to be able to do some practice on it so thank you very much subscribe to my youtube channel